Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, October 12th. I am headed out to the new house right now. Let's see if my camera stays there. Um, hopefully, we should be fully in. No, let me take that back. We will be completely in by Friday. Um, Chris and I have made a lot of trips out to the house already. Get some of the smaller stuff over there. And uh, once the movers show up Friday morning, they basically have probably just over a dozen boxes and then uh, the furniture. So, not too much. I'm hoping um, in and out of the apartment in an hour, if that. And then over to the house and unload it probably take maybe a half hour, so all in all, not too bad. Hey, what else is going on? Just stopped at my buddy's house. He gave me a couple road sodas, triple bag, long trail. I'm just kidding. I'm not drinking and driving. Always drink responsibly, people. Do not, I repeat, do not drink and drive. Um... Alright, this road here is that it's going to be pretty bumpy to keep my camera right there. So, I went to Acadia Oktoberfest this last weekend. Had a great time up there. It was actually overly hot for a fall day in October. It was about 72 degrees. Um, so, you know, mixing the heat with the alcohol, eh not always the best way to do it, but overall, great festival, had um, over 88 beers to try, I did not try all 88, <laughs> you get, uh, but you pay full admission, 25 bucks, which isn't bad, you get access to all the tents, uh, the beer tent, a free sampling glass, and 10 coupons to get samples with. Of course, you can go back and buy more coupons if you want. And I think um, at the end of the day, between both of us, we had maybe six, six to eight tickets left. So, yeah. Um, sampled a few. Most of them are good. There is one that was really horrible. I did not like it all. <laughs> By, uh... Kenny Beck Brewing, something like that. It's like a honey rye ale. And it tasted and smelled like it just so. So, by all means, if you ever come across it, pass. Um, what else? Headed uh, back to Acadia, actually, October 22nd, to do some leaf peeping. Just going up there for a day and a night. Um, the trees, as you can maybe tell, are just pretty much starting to change here within the past few days, and um, by the time 22nd rolls around up north, it should be, uh, should be at its peak, so hopefully uh, get some great pictures when we're up there. Um, what else do we have going on? The move, Brewfest, Acadia, um, my Honda. A uh, 2003 Honda Element, and you know, it's for the most part, it's been great. It's been a great vehicle, it gets me here and there, and um, I love the fact that it doesn't have carpet and it's very spacious. And not to mention, it's uh, all wheel drive, so um, you know, put some snow tires on it and can get pretty much through uh, any kind of weather. But I've had a lot of problems with the uh, starter. I am now on my, like, third or fourth starter, I think, um, and yesterday, when we were going to leave the new house, I went to crank it, and the only way I can describe it is, it sounded like a dust buster running. It wouldn't crank. Um, tried it again, same thing, tried it again, and really held the key, and it cranked over. Um, yeah, this thing only has 151,873 miles on it. 
you know, it's, it's a lot of highway miles. It's been to Texas and back with me. Pennsylvania, I mean, up here to Maine, all over the place. And honestly, for a Honda, that right there, it's lived half its life. <laughs> that should only be half its life right there. I was really hoping to get 300,000 miles out of this, but it appears that it's just wearing out. So now I am just getting to the house. So now I guess I'm going to try to uh, post it online and sell it for cash and hopefully come across a cheap cash truck to buy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not too overly happy with that. Excuse me a second. I really did not plan on buying a, uh, another vehicle for quite some time, but here I am. Um, let's see. They did the, as you may recall, resizing the house and they've done quite a bit. They just got the front porch done the other day, which came out amazing. Um, we came last week to do a load of laundry. And Kristen was working on that. I was outside and cutting the grass and she comes out and says, I don't think the washer's working. It's full of water. I'm like, great, here we go. So we went down and um, wrung all the clothes out and wanted to get them in the dryer, put them in the dryer, and go to turn on the dryer, and <laughs> it wouldn't start. We're like, great. Here we go. Anyways, you know, made a call to the landlord, and here we are. New washer and dryer. Oh, they're used, but, you know. Hoping uh, everything is hooked up and ready to go this time around. Really? I thought they brought the other light down here. I guess she brought that back. Dang it. Shit. Um, so hopefully, I'm here at least wanting to get one load done. So hopefully, that works out today. We have no problems. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, what else do we have going on? Um, quickly coming up on Halloween. Might have a little get together with some friends. Not sure yet. Plan on doing a yard sale here, probably within a month. Because uh, combined, we have a lot of crap, and honestly, going through some of the stuff that I've unpacked already, I, I'm happy to part ways with it. So, get a big yard sale going and make a few bucks and put that towards whatever. Um, I suppose that's about it. Um, that's all I can think of right now, at least. So, just want to give you guys, the few of you that watch me, hello Martha, <laughs> a quick update and just let you get you up to speed and let you know what's going on. So, um, that's that. And uh, once we get in the house here and situated, I'll probably uh, bring you guys back through for another tour and give you an update then. So until then, have a good day. Bye.